Greetings, roarers and writers of the Merry Merry Meeple channel. I am the groom doing a solo play today of Roar and Write, an Animal Kingdom game by Carla Cop. Um, released to us by Galactic Raptor Games. All right, you want to know how this is played? I'll explain it now. However, you can go back on our channel. The Bride and I did do a two-player version of this game. Uh, solo play is done the exact same way. Difference, though, and why I'm doing it today is this is the Deep Dive expansion, which is a whole nother pack of maps. And the whole bottom part, councils are all played the same. The only difference is going to be this map. So if you already know how to play the base game, you still know how to play this. Just you have to look at how this is done. So basically what's going to happen is I am going to roll these six dice. I am then going to put as many as I want down here in my council offerings. I can use one of those dice to mark a space up here. The rules up here is it the die you place has to be greater or plus or minus one from one of the adjacent hexes. So this is a four, so this needs to be a three. Now here I can put a three, a five, or a two because it's next it'd be next to the three. At the end of the game you're gonna get points, you're gonna see, you know, did you get five or all those marked? If you did, that's five points. And so on. It does come with this little card that explains all of that with it. Um actually I should say if once you fill in one of these you would take that. Um if you fill in all six squ squares early you get an early appeasement bonus on roll one, two, or three, which will give you points. At the end of an uh, age, you're going to choose one of these guys out here, score for it, put the letter here. At the end of the game, you're going to score points for how many different ones you've used. You're also going to be looking for a unique number that gives you points and a pair. So I'm looking for threes and then pairs of twos and fives. That is the basics. So let's get started. I roll these up first. One, 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 four, four, six. So this one's looking for four of a kind. That's threes. That's looking for a bunch of different ones. Um, he's looking for odds. So let's go ahead and just throw all three ones on here. Because we can possibly get the four of a kind. Or we're already at this part of him. Up here, we're going to do the four right here. And roll it up again. Six, six, one, two, three, five. Well, I think I am going to take that one. And because the one that gives me four of a kind, I want to take the three because I need that there. That five's gonna work well there, but I can do the you know, what? we're gonna put the five here also so I can start working on my pairs. So I did the one, the three, and the five, and the two is gonna go right here, and I can do that because it's adjacent to the three. I have peas on the second roll. Circle that. One more roll, and I can mark something on my map. And I got what I wanted. I got that three. Let's go ahead and put our three right here. All right. So now we'll finish up this age. Um, I'm going to do the four of a kind, so that representative letter is an A, and I get eight points from it. So for this age, that gives me ten points. So, so far, my ongoing total is ten. Next age, so it's that simple. We're going to do this four more times. Two, sixes... Four, five. 
Um, need at least one of those twos for that pair. That was looking for threes. I got no threes. That's looking for a large sum. If I can get a 32. Yeah, let's grab the two sixes for sure. So if I do six, six, five, that's 17. Yeah, let's do a six, six, five. And let's go ahead and pop the tuple twos and the four. Let's pop the four right here. Looking for a bunch of sixes. I got one six. And a six. Um... I think I'm going to do the six there. So that'd be six, 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 eighteen, twenty-three. Really close to getting that. Yep, we're going to do the six. So at eighteen, I'm at twenty-three so far. Twenty-three. So I need at least nine. Yeah, I'm going to grab one of the threes, too. So I'm looking for definitively a six at the next roll. Hopefully I get it. And now I can do one of these numbers. I'm going to work on... Let's go ahead and go three here. All right. So I did not do any early appeasement. Oh, well. Come on, six. Yes, six, six. Four, four, five, one. Doing one of the sixes there. Um, that leaves me all of those numbers I can do. Uh, probably finish up this. So, four. See if I can get the water done, because that's nine points. So I just have to get over there. It's doable. All right, so that was my third roll. 6, 12, 18, 24, 29, 32. We're going to do N here. And that gives me 13 huge points. All right. Going into the third age. Got a couple of fives. Got a couple of twos. Four, a six. I'm going to want to try and get over there somehow. So that's going to be one of the fives or sixes. Uh, the pairs. I have a couple of fives. I don't have a couple of twos yet. You know, let's go ahead and grab the two twos. I don't know what I'm going to go for up there yet. Maybe the different ones. And then we'll knock our five right here. That's a lot of fives. A one, a two, a six. I just put a bunch of fives there. For my odds. Really build up on those pairs. You know, I think that is what we're going to do. Although that means I can't put one of those right there. I'm going for the fish. And I can do it too. Yeah. Five. 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 And then two in the water. One more roll. Two, four, one, six, six. All right, so right now I'm at, so I was thinking about maybe, maybe doing the odds. That would give me four odds, which is only two points. 
It's not that big of a deal. Or I could do the two. You know what? Yeah. We're going to do this one more so for the bottom. Two. So that's already three pairs there. So I get two more twos. I'm maxed out on my pairs, which is optimal. Optimal. And we'll use my other two here so I can get over to these waters. And again, no early appeasement. I am going to do probably the odds. So I have three odd numbers. That only gives me two points. And that's F. Oh, forgot to do my running total. All right, so this gave me 13. So that's 23. This only gave me two. So 25. All right, going into the, pen the penultimate age. Hoping for threes, because I've only gotten the one, and I need more. Five threes. Nope, you gave me one. Th uh, yep, one three. Um, what can I do over here? I can do the one. And that's about it, so I probably want to keep that. Yeah, so we're going to take the three. And we're going to do the one right there, which gives me that. All right, bunch of the threes, come on. No threes. Four, five, six. Uh, well, I guess we're going to do our four here. And down here, we'll do our, I already did the odds, but we could do the difference. We'll do a five. All right, this is not looking good. I need threes. I got one three. One, two, three, four, four, five. I think for sure I'm going to do the three and the two. Three and the two, the four, and the one. And then our five is going to go right there. No early appeasement, but that's one, two, three, four, five different. So we're going to do B. Five different ones gives me four points. So that round total is four. So we are at 29 points. Going into the final round, and we're looking to try and get the frog in the threes, even more so because it's my unique number. I'm just not rolling threes today. Oh, that was a four. I'm going to use the four on the water. So that gives me the nine. I need two more for that one. I can probably try and get that here soon. Um... You know, we're just going to put the three fives down here. Wait, nope. I know. Hang on. Let me just double check something. All right. So we have one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six fives. We have plenty of fives. We have one, two, three, four twos. So I'm eventually going to need to grab one more two. I think we are going to do the fives. One, two, three fives, and a two. Two more rolls. And no threes again. 
We're going to do the one right here, though. Now I have five twos already, right? One, two, three, four, five. So the twos don't matter. We're going to go with the five just so I can get that four of a kind and hope I roll three here. Yay, I rolled two threes. All right, put our three in here. Put our three in here, which gives us all of that land type. All right, so I'm not, so if I take him, that's going to give me five points there. Only one, so that's a six-point play. If I do them, that's just straight eight points. So it is better to do the four of a kind. A, eight points, no early appeasement. So eight puts me at 37. 37 is my ongoing total. My unique number was threes. One, two, three, four, five of them. So that gives me three points there. Pairs, I believe I had one, two, three, four, five. Yep, I had the five of them total, so seven, ten. Representatives, I had four different ones. So one, two, three, four is ten points. My kingdoms is 19. So 10, 20, 57, 67, 76 points. And in a solo game, you can earn a title. At 76 points, I am the council member from the Arctic Kingdom. The highest ranking is 95 plus points. They also have a mission mode on the back that you can do for the solo game. So this is, which requires you to both be a certain score and meet a mission requirement. You must do both to move on to the next mission. So these are all 90 plus. So basically if you feel like you're easily getting to that monarch level, these add that extra challenge. <clears throat> so mission one is score the same council member twice and completely fill in two kingdoms. Well, I would have had that except for the point total I was short on. But again, that is Roar and Wright. A Animal Kingdoms game from Galactic Raptor, Raptor designed by Carly Cop of Where Giraffe fame. Alright, until next time, I am the groom, I played a game, I rolled some dice, I wrote on a pad. See you later.